Here he comes, your 2016 Wasega Beach Sprint Triathlon. First across the line, Art Hare. Here she goes, the woman's winner of the 2016 Wasega Beach Sprint Triathlon. It's going to be Nadine Mo. Congratulations to Nadine. That is fantastic. What a great effort. Nathan Cox coming on in there with a triathlon. Art Hare, the Wasega Beach Sprint Triathlon winner, overall winner. As you can see near the stack booth, we'll talk about that later, but tell us about your race today. Uh, it went really well. The water was like glass, so sighting was really easy and just uh, kept going straight towards each of the things. Um, I had a bit of a slow T1, two guys passed me, there was a bit of confusion with an official, but uh, we got it on the bike and just had a strong bike pulled away from Stevie Blankenship by about 30 seconds coming in. And then I just ran like a scalded rabbit to uh, the finish because I knew Stevie's a really good runner and didn't want him to run me down. Now with that talking about a strong bike. We obviously using some of your uh, yeah. stack here. Now tell us about this uh, new trainer. Uh, so this is a trainer that uses uh, magnets interacting with the aluminum in any brake, in any normal brake rim, and it slows them down through uh, magnetic effects. So the key side effect of that is there's no noise and there's no tire wear. So you can ride on your race tires. Andrew and I have been demoing on our race bikes uh, since the race ended, which is why I'm all sweaty. Uh, so, Testing on that all summer and all winter uh, gives you good strength in the legs because you're just always on the trainer uh, testing stuff out. All right. So congratulations on your win today and uh, catch you in the next one. Four, Thanks. Five. Tim Here we are from Sega Beach. Was third. Sprint Crapper champion. Second and now tell us about your uh, race today. Obviously, you did some great damage on the bike, and I know as before we talked about uh, prior to recording that uh, you know you joined up at LPC and uh, doing a lot of great work there. Yeah, so uh, maybe I'll start back last fall. So I had a really great race here, and I just thought I feel like I can do so much better. So I signed up with LPC. And I had a really great winter of training with them. Um, the biggest thing I've noticed an improvement in is my bike. So I've, I've biked so much, but I wasn't doing the right kind of training. Um, so buying a trainer and spending some, a lot of time indoors in an work environment was really helpful for me. Um, and so just Peter really being consistent. Um, I did have Mammos a small running injury earlier in the Darren season, so I, I made sure that I kind of got on top of that. And then just being consistent and and making it fun and that sort of thing yeah. is really essential. So again, I know you're, you're sort of concentrating on the sprint kind of stuff, but you have your eye on uh, other distances, and I know we got Lakeside coming up. Yeah, so I, I've decided after this race, because it went so well, that I'll probably do Lakeside as well. Um, so basically, yeah, I think long term, I like to do longer distances. I really Real like picture. biking for hours on end. To 59 and I find now. That it's just we're not getting older, we're getting better. Kind of course, if you look at Muskoka and all these yeah, other the events. Yeah, 55 to 59 um, for the women. You know, Lorna really Visser was third. Debbie so, Cass was second. And Mickey Rivers was, well, like was your winner. I yes. Man, but, uh, Nicely done, Mickey. All right, well, congratulations for today. Congratulations on the bikes on. I love it.